Now, I want to show you um, this interview that took place. And then I want to get into that because more has transpired after that. So I sat down with him. And in this interview, um, it was very interesting. He had a lot and a little bit to say. But I'll let you decide. Take a look. All right. Welcome, uh, OTF Duty Low, to the show. Now, do I have to call you OTF Duty Low, or do I? Because like OG, I don't call um, OT Genesis OT. I just call. Now you Gen can call me Duty Low. Okay, Duty Low. All right. So of course, you know, we've been following you on social media for the last couple months about you know some stuff we're going to get into today. But I reached out to you recently because I feel like there's such a broader conversation that's not happening about the whole Me Too movement, the cancel culture movement that's happening that I think is cancerous to our community, where I feel like the public opinion not only uh, brings charges, but convicts our people in the culture before they even have an opportunity to defend themselves. I think you've been a victim of that recently, but I wanted to meet you and get to know you, so I appreciate you coming all the way to LA. Yeah, for sure. I appreciate you having me on your show. Of course. All right. So you are in you're in Atlanta now. Yeah, I live in Atlanta. Okay. Why Atlanta? Now I'm not the biggest fan of Atlanta. I know y'all love the strip clubs and all that, but what is it about Atlanta that's now like the new mecca for hip hop? It's just like the music. It's like it's the studios, the vibe, everything is like it's a vibe with like making music. Okay, so you're originally from Chicago? I'm from Kankakee, Illinois. It's like 30 minutes from Chicago. Yeah, I minutes. see Kankakee on the paperwork, but I didn't know how to um, pronounce it. Kankakee. So okay, so tell me about that. So you grew up there, how many siblings? Tell me about your life growing up. I got like five brothers, six brothers, and one sister. Mm. Five brothers, one sister. Grew up, you know, pretty hard, you know, single mom. Grew up in poverty and made it out. So was rap something you always wanted to do or did you grow up and want to be other things? Because believe it or not, as much as I spill the tea, I wanted to be a cop. I know that probably, I know. What's Listen, I'm not the people. I don't call, I, <laughs> well, I can't call them because I'm not in the streets, but you know, I was a kid that just wanted to help the community, but like, I didn't think I would end up in entertainment. What were your thoughts on what you wanted to do? I ain't gonna lie, this always been a dream of mine and I always knew it was gonna happen. Mm. So did you grow up knowing Dirk? Because I know you're a part of his squad. How did that relationship come about? Yeah, me and Dirk, we we grew up, not grew up with each other, but I met Dirk in 2013, mutual friends, you know? And we just been locked in ever since. You're a man of many words. Are you very careful with what you say? For sure. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's no trap here. I don't care what they say about Hollywood on Dr. V. Like, there's no trap. All right, so you decided you wanted to rap, and then you started rapping back in 2013, or when did rap start for you? Since I was a kid, but I took it serious when I moved to Atlanta. Like, took, like, all right, you know, forget the streets. Let me go do this. Mm -hmm. And, like, it was like I was chilling. LeBron called me. Rest in peace, my boy. We did a song called Me and Duty Low. And then ever since then, I took it serious. It's like, it's been going great for me. See, I'm from a generation where like, you know, I grew up with Tupac and Biggie. That's my era of hip hop. So like the new stuff, I really don't know a lot of people. King Von I actually came to know right before his passing and to see it all play out. Mm -hmm. um, what impact did that have on your group, you and Chicago in general? That was like, like you see how you said, you grew up on Tupac and Biggie. I feel like Vaughn was like a Tupac of our era. Like when he died, it had a big impact on me. Like it was, I, I was lost, you know. Mm -hmm. Like he a real. I ain't never met nobody like him. So for many people that look at hip hop, music, acting, you know, the creative arts or just the industry as a way of getting out the hood, why does it seem like so many rappers of this generation still find themselves like in the midst of that kind of? Violence is it just still real? They're still out there. They're still That's connected the, to the streets. It, the streets real. The streets real. So it, it it's it's all about who you put yourself around. At the same time, like you could you can't you can't be in the streets and be trying to up your career in music. Like it's it ain't no one foot in, one foot out. You know. So mm -hmm. you gotta pick like you you gotta pick wisely, or mm -hmm. you can be. You could be here and gone the next day, you know?